My parents were divorced when I was a young teenager, and I was raised by a single mother after that. So, I understand the difficulties that families have. I understand single parenting. I was raised by a single mother. I grew up in an all-female family, two sisters and a mostly single mother, and we often bonded, in part, by disparaging men and feeling superior to them. Being a single mother was the right thing for me. But I have a tremendous amount of help from my friends. They're in love with my kids, and my kids are in love with them. When I first started training Taekwondo, it was more just for discipline. My brother and I were two knuckleheads and my mom being a single mother wanted us to get more discipline somewhere other than her yelling at us. But I had no visions at all or aspirations of going from Taekwondo into mixed martial arts. I had a lot of guilt as a single mother trying to raise a child. I had to go to work and Jeffrey was screaming that he didn't want me to. You have to give yourself permission to let go of the guilt. If I'm doing a story on how a single mother copes in a refugee camp, I'll go to her tent, I'll follow her when she's working, see what her daily life is like, and try to pack that into one composition. With nice light, in one frame. I'm not going to normally get hired to play those emotional things, and I'm capable of it. I was raised by a single mother in Iowa, I'm just trapped in a big, dumb body. I've had the kind of complex life I write about. I was a single mother for 12 years. I'd been engaged. The wedding fell through. I then discovered I was pregnant and opted to have the child on my own. I was a professor. I was in my mid-thirties. I could manage it financially. I married two weeks after my 18th birthday, far too young, and by the time I was 23 I was a single mother of three small children, Sean, Daniel and Victoria, living in a prefab house. My father passed away a few days before my election. This man, an African-American born to a poor single mother in 1936 in the South, would worry in the last years of his life that he had better life chances when he was growing up than a young man born in the same circumstances would have today. My mother graduated from high school in 1969, and on January 3, 1971, she gave birth to me. She was married later that year, but by the time I was 10, she was a divorced single mother of two young boys. To make ends meet, we moved in with my grandparents, who were also housing two of my mother's siblings and their kids. Basically, I was a kid growing up with a single mother in Brooklyn. I was a single mother, and my boys were babies. I sold my body for food, money, and pampers. Marriage is a walk in the park compared to being a single mother or father. I'll take that walk later. I'd love to do some bedtime stories for kids or that kind of thing, but with the demands of the shooting schedule and balancing the demands of being a single mother, it's a wonder you can squeeze in anything. I was raised by a strong single mother. Sometimes, being a single mother, I miss the freedom. I see my other friends with kids, and when they go out for a drink, it is the dad that stays in. My mom was a single mother, raising my sister and me. My mom has an incredible talent for living in the world without traditional structure, and her friend, who was in advertising, put me in a commercial when I was five. It was just to make money. I grew up as an only child with a single mother. Because we were poor and because I knew my father had emigrated from Syria, I imagined he looked like Omar Sharif. Mine is a story about a teenage single mother who struggled to keep her young family afloat. It's a story about a young woman who was given a precious opportunity to work her way up in the world. It's a story about resiliency, and sacrifice, and perseverance. And you're damn right it's a true story. My mom was a single mother in the South Bronx living in adverse conditions. Seeing her struggles to get herself off of welfare and get back into the workplace and give me and my sister a better life, it's an inspiration for me. I am a single mother, that is the reality. I used to meditate all the time in bed. That was when I was raising my daughter, and I'd get her up and off to school, and then I would go back to bed and meditate. And then I would do the same in the evening, and that was very good for that period because I had so many things to juggle as a single mother. I'm ultimately a widow and a single mother, who's not even getting to be a mother right now. I am so alone, it's freaky. My story starts with my dad, a black boy born to a single mother in a small town in North Carolina. It starts with my parents meeting in Washington, D.C., in the 60s, at a time of incredible activism. I was a single mother when my child was little. What is free time? I'm a single mother. My free moments are filled with loving my little girl. When I started getting so many haters and closed doors, 
I decided to prove that it could be done. I was a divorced single mother of three at the time and a size 12, not your typical model artist that labels feel work for the music industry. My mom was essentially a single mother raising three boys. If anyone could have had any reason to give up, it was her. But she didn't, and neither did we. I even thought of adopting a child as a single mother. I find families intriguing, perhaps because I did not grow up in one. I was raised by a feminist, independent, single mother, a divorcee. I'm a single mother. It's silly to turn down work. I've been overwhelmed, I was a single mother for a time. Being a single mother in the late 1950s was a very shocking thing, and dreadful thing, for people. I believe I was actually the first single mother in a major film. Parenting is something that I got early, because when you grow up without a father being there, and you see a single mother struggle to feed the kids, you do not want to put your own blood through that. I'm the youngest of four. I have two older sisters and an older brother and was raised by a single mother. Basically, my household was just full of life. Everything was lit all the time. I was just raised in humble beginnings, three brothers together and a single mother who raised us the best she could. As a single mother of four, my mother taught me that you always want to show up strong for the moments that really matter with family, friends, and community. I now recognize how her strength helped shape the person I am today and the mother that I have become. Barack Obama was elected during my second year of college, and save for his skin color, he had much in common with Bill Clinton, despite an unstable life with a single mother, aided by two loving grandparents. He had made in his adulthood a family life that seemed to embody my sense of the American ideal. I just decided to take some time off. I've been modeling since 93, 92, and that's a pretty long time. I'm a single mother and I chose to focus on her. In truth, I am a single mother, but I don't feel alone at all in parenting my daughter. Krishna has a whole other side of her family who loves her, too. And so Krishna is parented by me, but also by her grandmother and aunts and cousins and uncles and friends. I grew up with a single mother, and I wasn't out shooting too many guns. There are things coming from me that I felt I wanted to talk about. My search for my own blend of spirituality, my acknowledgement of my sexuality, my being the single mother of a young man. I grew up with a single mother, and although we didn't have a lot of money, she cared a great deal about what we ate. We were the original health food family. We shopped at what were called health food stores before Whole Foods, everything came from bins. I think being raised by a single mother put me on the outside, and I would watch my mother's married friends and think, why does she put him down in public, or, why is he so rude to her? It seemed to me that there were very few marriages where the couple were genuinely in a supportive, loving partnership. I never really paid attention to sports, which, coming from the mecca of football in Texas, is kind of odd. I played sports, but I was nerdy. Having a single mother, the pressure was on me to get good grades and a scholarship and go to college. I was divorced when my children were young, so I was a single mother for a while. It's so hard to have to do every little thing yourself and be forced to navigate the rocky emotions of motherhood alone. I've got a single mother. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.